assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this short video lecture i will guide you for steel reinforcement details in the construction of this floor beam which span is 24 feet i will guide you for size of beam steel reinforcement and some other technical terms in this short video this is one column that is other column length of this floor beam is 24 feet size of this beam is 12 by 18 inches this is l by 4 distance we have two side bars dia is 16 mm at the bottom we have four steel rods at the top we have three steel rods two are side bars only provided for l by 4 distance dia is 16 mm for all rods except at the middle they provided 12 mm steel rod and upper portion are in compression zone this is the junction between beam and column you can see clearly at the distance of l by 4 for this beam they provided also side bars dia is 16 mm stirrup dia is 8 mm spacing is 7 inches or you can say 200 mm hooks are bent on 90 degree so this is not the proper way of hooks it should be provided on 135 degree the length of the hook should not be less than 3 inches that is the other beam length is same 24 feet they provided extra steel rods at the junction between beam and column to resist negative bending moment crank bar or bent up bar is economical and this is extra steel rods method which you can see in this video Extra steel rods are bent up bar is against of cracks where we have negative bending moment. This is the other beam, length is 24 feet. Total we have 7 steel rods with extra steel rods are side bars we have 9 steel rods. You can see guys the size of the column is 15 by 15 inches. We have 8 steel rods, dia is 16 mm. Stirrup spacing is 7 inches, center to center. Guys, you can see we have 4 steel rods at the bottom, 3 at the top. In top portion, middle bar dia is 12 mm and other steel rods dia is 16 mm. Spacing is 7 inches. Hooks are bent on 90 degrees. So this is one of the big mistake you can say. Here we have cantilever beam which length is up to 3 feet. You can see this is at the distance of L by 4. You can see side bars. After L by 4, you can't see the side bars. Again, they provided side bars with other beam, with other side, where we have the support which is called column. You can see, guys. At the distance of L by 4, the spacing should be closely compared to its middle or after L by 4. So this is very important. You can see the steel reinforcement in RCC slab. They provided spacing 12 by 12 inches. This is single mesh on the top of this. They will provide the other mesh. Then that will be 6 by 6 inches. You can see guys they provided here lapping length on the top of this floor beam. So this is also one of the big mistake. So they should not provide the lapping like this thanks for watching see you in next video